Hello again, everybody. I'm Gary Glenn, and this is Hall County Sports TV. And we start this week's show with football. It was a gala affair at City Park last Thursday at Gainesville High School's field as they dedicated the new P.K. Dixon Fieldhouse at City Park. It's a state-of-the-art facility and a vast improvement over what had been there for many years. Now, on the field there at Bobby Gruen Field, the Red Elephants staged a rally only to come up shy of 6A West Forsyth as the Wolverines built a 32-15 lead and hung on for a 32-30 win. The Red Elephants actually outgained the Wolverines in total offense, 429 yards to 353. Gainesville quarterback Deshaun Watson had an up-and-down night, 29-45 for 304 yards and two touchdowns passing, and he ran for 60 yards and two more scores, but he also threw four interceptions. Next up for Gainesville, a date at Perennial Power Buford on Friday. Buford opened with a 14-3 win over Elbert County. Now, our feature game saw North Hall take a 32-20 win at Chester T. T.J. Tate toted the mail 14 times for 113 yards and two touchdowns, including a key 39-yard touchdown run early in the fourth quarter. He also caught a 19-yard touchdown pass from Bradley Brown, who had a 12-yard scoring run himself. Modesto Cruz added a 22-yard field goal for the Trojans, while Chester T. Senior Quan Clark led all rushers with 123 yards on 23 carries. A.J. C.J.I. scored on a 45-yarder for the War Eagles late in the fourth, while Jordan DeGraff threw a touchdown pass to Kelly Arthur and scored on a one-yard plunge as well. Now, running mostly out of the wishbone versus the wing tee of years past, North Hall broke an opening game losing streak and controlled the ball as 11 backs combined for 327 total rushing yards. Both teams turned the ball over, but Chester T got the worst end of that as the Trojans turned them into points. Earlier this week, I dropped by Chester T and talked with head coach Stan Luttrell outside of their brand new field house. This is the 11th year Chester T's been open, and this is the first year that we get to have a field house. Uh, everyone in our uh, community is excited about it. Has a uh, just under 4,000 square foot uh, weight room, and then coach's office, locker room, and a football equipment room. It's a beautiful facility. Uh, it fits really well here in the in the end zone of War Eagle Stadium, and we're very thankful to have it. Let's go back to the game the other night. It was a game that was very tight, and at halftime, I remember you and I chatted very briefly, and you said, well, Whichever team takes care of the football, whichever team controls the game is going to wind up winning, and that's kind of what happened. That's exactly what happened. You know, uh, we feel like that North Hall's, North Hall's a good football team, but unfortunately we, uh, we definitely, uh, because of turnovers and because of not taking care of the football and giving up big plays, we uh, definitely uh, uh, gave the game away because we always talk about the – that we're our first opponent, no matter who's on the other side of the ball, but our first opponent is ourselves, and, and, and we beat ourselves on Friday night. North Hall did a good job. They played hard. They were well prepared, but we felt like that we beat ourselves. You said also, I remember when we talked in the preseason, you said, I said, tell me what's going to be the key to this, the season, Stan. You said, we've got to learn to handle adversity better, and I thought at times you did that the other night. That's a very good point. At times we did. At other times, you know, in sudden change, uh, sudden change on one fumble. The very next play on defense, we gave up a one play drive, one play touchdown. That just isn't good. Teams don't do that, you know. And uh, and we're still working towards that. You know, our guys, like you said, at times handled adversity very well. Came back, we forced a field goal in one time after a turnover. And um, you know, biggest thing is we got to continue to grow and mature. Uh, no, we don't like losing, especially to North Hall, uh, yeah. but. It did not have any playoff implications. Our region schedule is coming, and we have a, a, a big game down in Oakwood uh, with West Hall this week. Let's go back to the play. I thought that probably was a busted coverage, wasn't it? He was so wide open when they scored the touchdown. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, we had a corner who uh, didn't take his read, he was looking in the backfield and let, that, let, let, the, uh, uh, let the guy run right by him for an easy touchdown. You know, those kind of things, though, I know they're frustrating, but they are things that you've got to feel are correctable. Oh, there are mistakes that you can learn from and say, we don't need to do this again. Well, absolutely. I think, you know, after the game, I told the team that, you know, I hope that they uh, don't like the way that they feel. I hope they, they don't like the, the feeling that comes with losing, uh, period, and they're willing to correct it. I think when we watch film as coaches, that we see that uh, it's frustrating because the mistakes that were made were definitely mistakes that were preventable. And uh, it's our job to uh, correct those mistakes in our in our individual drills and within the the practice. And hopefully now that we've we've made them in a live situation, that they won't happen again. I thought at times, once again, at times there were some really bright spots, though. 
I, I think the brightest spot that's going to come out of uh, our game against North Hall is how dominant we were up front on the offensive line. You know, we averaged over five yards a carry, almost six yards a carry. Uh, the problem was that, that we didn't convert well on third and, third and fourth down, and uh, we didn't take care of the football. You know, and uh, if we do that, you know, if we do that, we, we win the game. And now, once again, on to Oakwood and a very much, in my estimation, a very much improved West Hall team. Yeah, I'm impressed with Coach Lottie and everything he's doing at West Hall. I think he's a good man. I think he's got the community believing in, in him and in the program and, and uh, definitely got the program headed in, in, in the right direction. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. It's the second year in a row we've had to play down there. So they were off last week, so their bumps and bruises from the Johnson game have, have healed. And um, I think it's going to be very competitive. Again, I think it's going to be a physical football game, which uh, you know is exactly what we want. We want to play hard, fast, and physical. That that's what we want to be known for. And um, and and so I believe that's what the the game is going to be. Um, it's going to be a challenge because it's our first game on the road uh, this year. So how we handle that is going to be important. And uh, I think we're going to play a very hungry West Hall team who's looking to to uh, to beat chastity and we've got to do everything within our power to keep that from happening and once again an evenly matched football team who takes care of the football is going to have a long way to go with determining the outcome of that game uh, no doubt about it we've got to, we've got to take care of the football no fumbles no interceptions and we've got to create turnovers we did create some turnovers the other night it was just late and um, but North Hall still won the uh, turnover margin and they won the game good luck to the Warriors the rest of the way Stan thank you Next up, Chester T. will visit West Hall, which was idle last Friday, while North Hall hosts Johnson at the Brickyards. Now, the Knights will come in there on a 2-0 winning streak. They beat Oglethorpe County 36-21 in their second game of the season. Cedric Harris had five touchdowns and 257 yards. That's more than Oglethorpe's entire offense. Lakeview opened the season with a 32-12 decision over Fellowship Christian. The triple option offense rushed for four touchdowns and 299 yards. Caleb Faulkner had 95 yards and two touchdowns, while quarterback Ted Reynolds was two for three with a touchdown through the air and added 94 yards and a rushing touchdown to that. The line D played well, recovering five of seven forced fumbles and also picking off a pass, and that one was called back, but they picked it off anyway. <laughs> the Lions will face Hebron Christian next. East Hall rebounded from an opening week thumping by Dawsonville and rallied to beat Chattooga 28-20. The Vikings' Edward Vergara ran for over 100 yards with two touchdowns. East Hall will host East Jackson on September 14th. Speaking of rallies, North Georgia Christian scored a pair of touchdowns late in the fourth quarter to complete a comeback in Lithia Springs and edge Colonial Hills 20-18. Caleb Epling threw three touchdown tosses on the night, one each to Chandler Staten and Aaron Knoll and another to Brandon Winters for the winning score. George Zimmerman picked off a Colonial Hills pass to help clinch the victory for the Chargers, who get back in action against Cross Point Christian this coming Saturday in Griffin. A perennial power, Northside Warner Robbins broke open a 7-7 game at the half and cruised over Flowery Branch 45-7. Branch quarterback Jackson McDonald had 112 yards, passing a touchdown and an interception. The TD toss was to East Hall transfer Cameron Davis for five yards. He had 36 yards receiving on the night. Now, the Falcons will fly to Cumming this Friday to take on that West Forsyth team that beat Gainesville last Thursday. We get back on the trail after these timeouts. This program is also brought to you by Longstreet Cafe, now with two locations in Gainesville, 1043 Riverside Terrace and 405 Pearl Nicks Parkway. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Monday through Saturday. Longstreet's got the reputation for Gainesville's fastest drive through and the best fried chicken you'll ever sink your teeth into, plus veggies, a full salad bar, and great desserts. Check today's menu at www.longstreetcafe.com. Call a friend and meet them for a hearty meal at Longstreet Cafe, where they put the home in the cooking. If you've suffered storm damage or just want to upgrade your home, then turn to Rock Solid Construction. Rock Solid specializes in new roofs, room additions, porches, decks, custom interior trim, and even finished basements. Let the experts at Rock Solid Construction improve your home with new trim, new posts for the porch, or maybe even upgrade your deck with synthetic boards. No more rotting or warping. Call 678-300-0702 for your free estimate. That's 678-300-0702. Rock Solid. Done right the first time. Hi again, everybody. Gary Glenn back on the set of Hall County Sports TV at our studios at McElroy Road United Methodist Church. Joining us once again on the set, 
the pastor at McEver Road UMC, Rob Bruce. And Rob got a new series coming up. That's right, Gary. We're going to start a new series about work. You know, a lot of people think work is a curse, but, well, I don't want to go that far into it. But the name of the series is Johnny Paycheck, and our first sermon in the series is going to be Take This Job and... Uh, well, we don't want to get too far into that right now. So if you want to see what Rob's got to say about work, join us here at McEver Road United Methodist Church, 3606 McEver Road in Oakwood. Rob, we'll see you in church on Sunday. See you Sunday. Your one-stop spot for complete auto repair is the Auto Works shop on Sprout Springs Road. On everything from oil changes to brakes, new and used tires and tune-ups, even the big jobs like transmissions, the specialists at the Auto Works can have you up and running just like that. You talk about value, the Auto Works will not be undersold on used tires or any locally priced repair job. Ask about special discounts for students and teachers with your ID. That's the Auto Works at 6671 Spout Springs Road, just past Flowery Branch High and Spout Springs Elementary Schools. Phone 770-967-1732. We're back. I'm Gary Glenn. This is Hall County Sports. We turn to cross country for this particular segment. West Hall Senior, Junior, and Equez won the boys' race with a time of 17 minutes, 41 seconds, at a five-team season opening meet at West Hall. Four of West Hall's boys' runners finished in the top eight. Spartans Brandon Wynn at 1755 and Ricardo Castorita at 1757 came in third and fourth, respectively. And the girls beat West Hall's Taylor Long, took second, 2134, behind White County's Jenna Gearing, who ran a 2007. The Lady Spartans Ryan Sherry finished fourth in 2145. The West Hall boys and White County girls were the team winners at that meet. Now, I should have mentioned this last week, but at that recent Northeast Georgia Invitational Athens Christian, as their top teams, boys and girls, ran third in the championship divisions, the branch's second team boys actually won what they called the varsity division. The Chester War Eagles won the Cherokee Chase Challenge Mountain Trail Run at Fort Mountain State Park. Jose Reyes Lavalle ran second overall in the boys' varsity 5K race in a 20:45. Jason Dang got the third place medal, finishing at 21:22. Varsity girls swept the top three spots with Tori Mullinax, Sarah Beth English, and Shelby Bennett running first, second, and third, respectively. And the open run, Edgar Guerrero was in second place, and Christian Zapatero third overall. The War Eagle Invitational is this week, and we'll have more on that next time we meet here. Now, a couple of former soccer players won the Action Ministries Action Dash 5K this past Labor Day, this past Monday at Gainesville State College. The location was one of a number of sites around the state in the race sponsored by the United Methodist Church in order to draw attention to and help fight the cycle of poverty. Gainesville's 26-year-old Juan Soto has racked up a number of titles in his two years of serious running, blew away the field. His time of 1746.2 was over a minute and a half ahead of the second-place finisher. Now, the top woman was 22-year-old Maria Petroni of Buford, who just finished up at South Carolina, where she played on a couple of the Lady Gamecocks SEC championship soccer teams. I asked him what brought him out on a Labor Day morning, the cause, a chance to run what? Definitely because of the cause. I usually try and look for what is like about poverty. Me and my mom came and did this one this morning um, for the cause, and just feels really good after you finish run this early in the morning. Yeah, yeah, for the cause because because I I like to do a lot of race around here. Pretty that much. Yeah, and I've seen you before winning some of the race around. What was the course like? Tell me a little bit about that. Well, the course is perfect. Just one loop is what I like on our races. You know, I don't like to do a loop, but loop. Yeah. This is perfect. The beginning was um, a little bit tougher. There was a few hills at the beginning, but the last mile was great. It was all pretty much even and downhill, so it was easy to finish on. All right, now, Juan, you've been doing this for a couple of years, and uh, Maria, you just got out of college, right? Yes, Playing sir. South Carolina soccer. Yes, sir. A couple of former soccer players. Yeah. What does that say, huh? You have to run a lot. <laughs> <laughs> soccer yeah, right. <laughs> all right, you got something coming up, or are you just going to take it as it comes? Well, let's take it as it was next two weeks, and then. I'm going to try and run half marathons now, so that's what Juan, I'm trying to start training for. Juan here is a sub-elite Peachtree runner. He runs in the top 250 runners at the Peachtree, and, and he's one of the premier runners. People follow him. He's got a fan club. He's awesome. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't do 16 today. <laughs> he took it easy. All right, guys. We'll have a great, great rest of the Labor Day, okay? Thank you. Uh -huh. Now, fan Russ Kenor predicts Juan will win the Peachtree Masters in about 14 years. Mark that down. <laughs> Other Action Dash sites this past Monday were Athens, Atlanta, Augusta, and Rome. More on this week's show in just a moment. There are moments in life that you wish would last forever. Dreams that really do come true. Treasures worth protecting. And a future to prepare for. Turner Wooden Smith is with you every step of the way. Established in the Gainesville area in 1905. 
Turner Wood & Smith has become Northeast Georgia's largest independent insurance agency by offering professional service at competitive prices. Turner Wood & Smith, ensuring your future since 1905. If you've suffered storm damage or just want to upgrade your home, then turn to Rock Solid Construction. Rock Solid specializes in new roofs, room additions, porches, decks, custom interior trim, and even finished basements. Let the experts at Rock Solid Construction improve your home with new trim, new posts for the porch, or maybe even upgrade your deck with synthetic boards. No more rotting or warping. Call 678-300-0702 for your free estimate. That's 678-300-0702. Rock Solid. Done right the first time. Hi again, everybody. Gary Glenn back on the set of Hall County Sports TV at our studios at McEver Road United Methodist Church. Joining us once again on the set, the pastor at McEver Road UMC, Rob Bruce. And Rob, got a new series coming up. That's right, Gary. We're going to start a new series about work. You know, a lot of people think work is a curse, but, well, I don't want to go that far into it. But the name of the series is Johnny Paycheck, and our first sermon in the series is going to be Take This Job and... Uh, well, we don't want to get too far into that right now. So if you want to see what Rob's got to say about work, join us here at McEver Road, United Methodist Church, 3606 McEver Road in Oakwood. Rob, we'll see you in church on Sunday. See you Sunday. Hall County Sports is brought to you in part by Green Ford on Browns Bridge Road in Gainesville. Check out the latest deals and remember when you go green, go Green Ford. By Mountain View Auto Repair, a full service shop for all of your automotive needs. Call Danny at Mountain View Auto Repair at 770-535-7278. And by McEver Road United Methodist Church. Visit us on McEver Road in Oakwood with three worship services every Sunday morning, Kidstown and adult small groups. McEver Road United Methodist Church is dedicated to transforming the world through the good news of Jesus Christ. All right, we start to wrap up this week with our attention turning to volleyball. Lakeview beat Tallulah Falls in straight sets. Shelby Ross had seven kills and four aces for the Lady Lions. Katie White paced the Lady Lions with ten kills, ten digs, and six aces, and a sweep over Raven County and Jackson County. Ross had ten aces and smacked seven kills for Lakeview. On the campus of Lakeview Academy, now talking with head volleyball coach Rena Millwood of the Lady Lions. And first of all, coach, tell me about taking over as the head person at the varsity level. Is there a whole lot of difference from that in middle school? Uh, oh, yes. There's absolutely a lot of difference. Uh, middle school, they're just kind of getting acquainted with volleyball and learning it uh, from the start. Varsity is much more competitive, and uh, we're trying to win. You're 12-4 and four at the beginning of the week. What has done it for you so far this year? What's been the key to that successful start? A uh, good group of girls. Good group of girls who are playing in the off season. They're getting a lot of exposure to volleyball, just not during the season, but all throughout the year. Um, and they they gel well together. They've got we've got good chemistry on the team, and they're doing really well together. What's the makeup of the team as far as seniors and juniors and sophomores, etc.? We have three seniors, five juniors, and the rest are sophomores. So you know, although you have some good senior leadership, this is not the all the eggs in one basket kind oh, of thing. Oh no, no, no. We're going to be good for the next couple of years. So we've got good seniors who are contributing this year, but we're also we've got a lot of young girls who who are going to be around for a couple of years. Based on what you've seen so far, who is your competition in your area, and what do you think of the volleyball in Hall County? Uh, I think it's been great in Hall County. We're all trying to work together to get club teams to um, to compete and get these girls better each year. Uh, our whole area around here is great. We, uh, we've done a couple tournaments together and seen some great competition in our area as well as uh, in our, our region. Well, speaking of your region, who's the team to beat? Uh, I think it's going to have to be George Walton. <laughs> What's the key for the Lakeview Lady Lions? Just stay excited, stay pumped up about volleyball, and keep working hard. Good luck to you, Coach. Thank you so much. Gainesville's Kaylin Walden led the Lady Elephants with a whopping 64 assists on the night and a three-set win over Rockdale County and a two-set loss to Oconee County. Walden then recorded 76 assists on the evening for Gainesville and three-set wins over Habersham Central and Flowery Branch. And for Flowery Branch elsewhere, Colleen Grider had 13 aces and 13 kills for the branch and straight set wins over Cedar Shoals and Alcovey. Chester T swept Lanier in Madison County as Melanie Smith led the Lady War Eagles with 16 kills and 5 aces. Madison Dunn had 21 assists, also had a 6-point service run for the Lady Eagles. Johnson's Kelly Chance recorded 20 assists and 8 aces for Johnson in a win over Raven County and a loss to Walnut Grove. The Lady Knights then swept a pair of matches against Duluth and East Hall. Savannah Turk had 12 digs, 8 kills, and 2 aces for Johnson, while the Javian Ratliff added 15 digs, 5 aces, and 4 kills. Chance had 18 assists and a pair of aces. 
West Hall's Lake and Hereford had 31 assists in the win over South Gwinnett and a lost Archer. Lanisha Kirst said 10 digs and 6 blocks for the Lady Spartans. Kelsey Jones added 11 kills and 5 aces. North Hall beat Grayson but lost to Mountain View and Hebron Christian Academy. Christina Gregory had 26 assists, 9 kills and 7 aces, while Sydney Cleveland added 11 kills, 6 digs, 2 blocks and an ace for North Hall. Turning now to softball, Chesity shut out Towns County 5-0. Heather McLaughlin picked up the win for the Lady War Eagles. Danielle Stevens went 2-for-2 two for, two for Chesity, and Bridget Kelly was 1-for-2 with an RBI. Gainesville's Kayla Street had six strikeouts and helped herself out by going 2-for-4 at the plate for the Lady Elephants in a 3-2 win over Chesity. North Hall beat White County 8-6 as Harper Seymour had two singles and a double for the Lady Trojans. Brandy Morris smacked a single and a double, while from the pitching circle, Caitlin Edwards and Hannah Miller combined to get the win. Time now to name our Athletes of the Week. For the boys, for the second week in a row, Cedric Harris of Johnson, 257 yards rushing and five touchdowns. It's kind of hard to argue with that. And for the girls, Kaylin Walden of Gainesville Volleyball, 140 assists in two nights. And speaking of Gainesville, in addition to a lot of individual accolades, as you heard last week and throughout the year on this show as we handed out some of our awards, Gainesville High also swept the awards in our second annual Hall County Sports Awards Team Championship presented by North Georgia Video Productions, Hall County Sports TV, Davis Marketing Professionals, and Georgia Trophy. You know, they won in the girls, the boys, and the overall, the big trophies. They got to keep them over at Gainesville High School at least for a year. The Red Elephants were boosted by a strong fall and an even stronger spring, and they swept those awards for girls, boys, and overall athletic programs. The acting principal at Gainesville High School is Lucretia Larkin. Ms. Larkin, yes. out of all of the schools, public and private, over last school year, Gainesville High School swept the awards, boys, girls, and overall. How does that make you feel? It makes us feel wonderful. And on behalf of the faculty and staff and all of our athletes, we would like to say thank you. This is wonderful. Now, you realize, of course, you set the bar pretty high. Yes, we're, and we're known for doing that. Pressure is on you to do this again. <laughs> and we're looking forward to doing it again. We're excited about starting our football season, and we just want to continue to see more of this in the future. Oh, and by the way, for you Hall County teachers, a note. Your system ID badges are not valid for admission to youth football games operated through the North Georgia Youth Football League. That is not part of the Hall County School District but it's a, a minimum to get in and help support a good cause. That's our show for this week. Join us next week right here for more Hall County Sports. I'm Gary Glenn. Hi again, everybody. Gary Glenn back on the set of Hall County Sports TV at our studios at McEver Road United Methodist Church. Joining us once again on the set, the pastor at McEver Road UMC, Rob Bruce. And Rob, got a new series coming up. That's right, Gary. We're going to start a new series about work. You know, a lot of people think work is a curse, but, well, I don't want to go that far into it. But the name of the series is Johnny Paycheck, and our first sermon in the series is going to be Take This Job and... Uh, well, we don't want to get too far into that right now. So if you want to see what Rob's got to say about work, join us here at McEver Road United Methodist Church, 3606 McEver Road in Oakwood. Rob, we'll see you in church on Sunday. See you Sunday. If you've suffered storm damage or just want to upgrade your home, then turn to Rock Solid Construction. Rock Solid specializes in new roofs, room additions, porches, decks, custom interior trim, and even finished basements. Let the experts at Rock Solid Construction improve your home with new trim, new posts for the porch, or maybe even upgrade your deck with synthetic boards. No more rotting or warping. Call 678-300-0702 for your free estimate. That's 678-300-0702. Rock Solid. Done right the first time.
Hi again, everybody. Gary Glenn back on the set of Hall County Sports TV at our studios at McEver Road United Methodist Church. Joining us once again on the set, the pastor at McEver Road UMC, Rob Bruce. And Rob got a new series coming up. That's right, Gary. We're going to start a new series about work. You know, a lot of people think work is a curse, but, well, I don't want to go that far into it. But the name of the series is Johnny Paycheck, and our first sermon in the series is going to be Take This Job and... Uh, well, we don't want to get too far into that right now. So if you want to see what Rob's got to say about work, join us here at McEver Road United Methodist Church, 3606 McEver Road in Oakwood. Rob, we'll see you in church on Sunday. See you Sunday. If you've suffered storm damage or just want to upgrade your home, then turn to Rock Solid Construction. Rock Solid specializes in new roofs, room additions, porches, decks, custom interior trim, and even finished basements. Let the experts at Rock Solid Construction improve your home with new trim, new posts for the porch, or maybe even upgrade your deck with synthetic boards. No more rotting or warping. Call 678-300-0702 for your free estimate. That's 678-300-0702. Rock Solid. Done right the first time. Hi again, everybody. Gary Glenn back on the set of Hall County Sports TV at our studios at McEver Road United Methodist Church. Joining us once again on the set, the pastor at McEver Road UMC, Rob Bruce. And Rob got a new series coming up. That's right, Gary. We're going to start a new series about work. You know, a lot of people think work is a curse, but, well, I don't want to go that far into it. But the name of the series is Johnny Paycheck, and our first sermon in the series is going to be Take This Job and... Uh, well, we don't want to get too far into that right now. So if you want to see what Rob's got to say about work, join us here at McEver Road United Methodist Church, 3606 McEver Road in Oakwood. Rob, we'll see you in church on Sunday. See you Sunday. If you've suffered storm damage or just want to upgrade your home, then turn to Rock Solid Construction. Rock Solid specializes in new roofs, room additions, porches, decks, custom interior trim, and even finished basements. Let the experts at Rock Solid Construction improve your home with new trim, new posts for the porch, or maybe even upgrade your deck with synthetic boards. No more rotting or warping. Call 678-300-0702 for your free estimate. That's 678-300-0702. Rock Solid. Done right the first time. Hi again, everybody. Gary Glenn back on the set of Hall County Sports TV at our studios at McEver Road United Methodist Church. Joining us once again on the set, the pastor at McEver Road UMC, Rob Bruce. And Rob got a new series coming up. That's right, Gary. We're going to start a new series about work. You know, a lot of people think work is a curse, but, well, I don't want to go that far into it. But the name of the series is Johnny Paycheck, and our first sermon in the series is going to be Take This Job and... Uh, well, we don't want to get too far into that right now. So if you want to see what Rob's got to say about work, join us here at McEver Road United Methodist Church, 3606 McEver Road in Oakwood. Rob, we'll see you in church on Sunday. See you Sunday. If you've suffered storm damage or just want to upgrade your home, then turn to Rock Solid Construction. Rock Solid specializes in new roofs, room additions, porches, decks, custom interior trim, and even finished basements. Let the experts at Rock Solid Construction improve your home with new trim, new posts for the porch, or maybe even upgrade your deck with synthetic boards. No more rotting or warping. Call 678-300-0702 for your free estimate. That's 678-300-0702. Rock Solid. Done right the first time. Hi again, everybody. Gary Glenn back on the set of Hall County Sports TV at our studios at McEver Road United Methodist Church. Joining us once again on the set, 
the pastor at McEver Road UMC, Rob Bruce. And Rob got a new series coming up. That's right, Gary. We're going to start a new series about work. You know, a lot of people think work is a curse, but, well, I don't want to go that far into it. But the name of the series is Johnny Paycheck, and our first sermon in the series is going to be Take This Job and... Uh, well, we don't want to get too far into that right now. So if you want to see what Rob's got to say about work, join us here at McEver Road United Methodist Church, 3606 McEver Road in Oakwood. Rob, we'll see you in church on Sunday. See you Sunday.